Today we're going to demonstrate this hematite necklace from a bundle. You can see we've used some of the strands out of the bundle and I'm just going to demonstrate doing this one here with the flowers. So here you can see we've, I've threaded on all of the hematites for the upper part of the necklace. And down the one side we have 21 of the 6mm rounds. And then we go on to the fancy dome shapes with the 4mm either side, a 6mm, a 4mm, a dome, a 6 foot, and then you carry on until you've got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 of the domes. And then you repeat to match the other side with your 21 6mm rounds. You can see here that I've used a length of beading thread and also a length of fireline thread. The fireline thread we're going to use to add the flowers section. So firstly, we're going to add our clasp. We've got a crimp bead. We threaded both our thread threads through the crimp bead. And we're just going to crimp on our clasp using our crimping pliers to keep that clasp nice and secure on our necklace. And then we're just going to add a crimp cover, that crimp. So there we have our clasp added. Now I just want to get rid of these excess lengths of thread. So carefully using your cutters as close as you can to your crimp bead without damaging the threads that we need. Just cut off the excess threads. There you go. So there our, our clasp is secure. So now we add on our 21 6mm beads, just making sure you pull both threads through and then our section of smaller 4mm beads and our fancy dome shapes. So we're exiting our fire line thread out of our 21 6mm beads and then we're going to add on I've got a needle added on to the end of the fire line. I'm going to add one of our four mil hematite beads. And we have our section of domes and six and four mil beads. And these domes are double drilled beads. So we've got our top section going through the top and then thread on one of your four mil beads and pass your needle through the bottom drill. And now we're going to add a section with our flower to come down this way. So for that we need to add on um, three of our four mil hematites those down, a flower hematite and another four mil hematites and then we're going to skip the first four mil hematite and pass our needle through the flower and one of just one of the four mils that you've put on above the flower and bring your thread through and just hold on and push everything in place so as it's nice and tight and then we're going to add on two more of our hematites 
we've got two of our four mil hematites and then once again pass through our fancy domed hematite and you make sure that these are facing all the way the same way around and pass your thread through the bottom drill hole and there we have on our first section with our flare attached so I'll just show you that once again so three of our four mil hematites a flower one of our four mil push those down skip the first hematite pass your needle through the flower and one four mil just pull on your thread making everything nice and tight and two more of our hematites four mils And back through the bottom of the dome shape. Making sure everything's facing the right way. So there we have two of our flower sections on. And you carry on repeating this until we've added all of our flowers. And you can see in the middle one, I've just added on extra. Instead of three, I've added four. And then I've gone through the top two hematites and added two on the side. And then that, that one just hangs a little bit lower to um, focus on the center point of the necklace. And then you just carry on with the rest of the flowers in the same way add on your 21 six mil rounds as we did in the beginning and add your clasp to the other end and there you have your finished hematite necklace